tea in the afternoon. On a late afternoon, there was stillness in the air on a quiet street of honest homes. Tired and hungry, he walked into the store. She was behind the counter, books in front of her. A university's name in boast and bold letters, a page open, a pen put aside. He quietly searched the menu. Nearby on the floor was a little girl, crayons in hand, worn coloring book open, imagination busy as only a child could be. They spoke as she made fresh tea. Sweet aroma filled the air, poured in delicate china, fragile yet surprisingly strong and the light played angels on her jet black hair. Staring into her eyes, he found himself traveling a road that led to her soul. There was something in the way she moved that took his breath away, a sensuous grace and a smile as warm as the sun. He spoke first, she answered, and then they talked about everything, as if they knew each other from a place a long time ago. She asked where he came from, he told her where he was going, words and images, transporting them beyond this tiny place. He was the restless kind, always on the move. Knowing that he would leave, they exchanged goodbyes. She touched his hand with a caress that left an indelible mark in his heart. Perhaps they barely spent a few moments together, never to see each other again. But now and then he thinks of her and her little girl, wondering what ever happened to them, because he never really forgot that tender afternoon and tea with a stranger. Thank you. And let's, let's have a humorous poem. Now, you know, the rich people are different from you and I. And they wouldn't be caught here. Is that right, Philip? Well, we don't know. They may... Where are they? They can make some money, yeah. They're on the Upper East Side, spending oh, money, God. man, uh, prime ribs, uh, anyway, lunch in the city. You see them at lunchtime. Young kids, office workers, construction guys, jostling in line, small talk, money in their hands, waiting at lunch trucks that advertise sandwiches for four fifty, fast, fried, and cheap. The young professionals go to diners in pairs or in groups, men laughing, women talking, as they wait on line, snaking in, to waitresses waving menus for lunch and special, drinks ten bucks apiece. You never see the rich waiting in the streets for lunch, only their limos parked in front of window-covered restaurants. You sense theirs is a private affair. For them, lunch is not fast and not cheap. Thank you.